Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at the beautiful Goodwood Golf. I'm down on the Downs uh, course on the driving range. And today I just thought I'm gonna do some practice. Um, so I thought I would just bring you along for a practice session. I'm gonna work my way up the bag. I'm gonna focus mainly on some shorter irons and then some longer stuff at the end, some drivers and maybe three woods, but we all know I don't like a three wood. Um, but yeah, I just thought you might enjoy seeing a few swings. I'll talk you through a couple of things I'm working on and um, we'll basically walk you through how I would usually practice. So sit back, relax, enjoy. And if you like it that much, feel free to hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll speak to you all soon. So I usually just get started with a few wrist warmers. I always feel like my wrists get really stiff. Um, I've got my 50 first. So we're just gonna hit a few most of the targets are kind of off to the right slightly, but I like just hitting a few softer ones to get warmed up. So I'm just going to hit some 80 yarders. And then what I'll do, I'll just go through a few uh, few swing thoughts and just let you know what's going on, really. We can be fairly relaxed. We've got these really nice little posts up the middle which tell you how far you've got. Some nice yardages, pretty old school. Um, takes a few nowadays to get the body warmed up, as it does a lot of us. I said in my um, What's in the Bag video, my 50 just always feels pretty good. It's quite a nice, quite a nice club. So I always feel as if I'm fairly confident with it. I haven't really. I have been working on a few things recently. Um, but it's been the same thing for, I don't know, two or three months. I did a bit of takeaway work during summer because I felt as if I was getting a bit inside and went slightly across the line at the, line at the top but as a result of that. But now I feel like my takeaway is in a good spot. Um, so now it's really just kind of how I work the ground like it's quite a nice feeling because My only swing thought is really how I'm using my feet Which is more of a feel Type concept as opposed to trying to hunt for a position it Really does help clear the mind a bit Feels good um, Just basically trying to work the pressure's through the ground and really try and get my legs woken up. I'm gonna go up to a eight iron. Um, so yeah, I just kind of, when I felt like I was swinging badly in summer, I felt as if I get a bit inside, a little bit across, and then I have to move a bit too laterally to try and get the club to shallow out again. Whereas, because I like seeing a fade, I always find I, I just I swing it better when I'm a little bit more on plane and a little bit steeper. So takeaway has helped me massively. I'm, I'm not across the top of, and it, uh, across the line at the top anymore, which is good. Um, and my iron play's come back because that did leave me for a little while. But now it's just right heel, right foot, left heel. And it's basically just that, that feeling is lovely. This feels really good. So I always think it's important when you're on the range to pick a target. Um, obviously it depends what you're working on. I, because I've been working on the same thing for a little while now, I tend to know the feeling I'm after pretty quick and can not bed it in fast, but it doesn't take me many shots to get into what I'm feeling in a range session, whereas sometimes if you're working on something new, it can obviously just take a little while for you to, you know, if you hit 75 balls, it might take you 30 to really kind of click the feeling you're after. Um, there's a blue marker out there, which I'm aiming for, and obviously with an eight, I'm not trying to land it on it, but that last one was pretty close. Got to try and set a parameter for how close you'd like to hit it. Probably 
12 feet. Quite good. Bring the towel over. Um, so yeah, I think when you're hitting balls, obviously think about what your target is. Are you going to the range to hit balls? Are you going to the range to work on a ball flight? Or are you going to the range to work on a technique? I'm, I'm kind of a bit of both at the minute, I guess, because technique feels good, so I'm not really changing anything. I'm, I, as I said, I'm just working on something I've done for a while. Bit of a pull. Um, so, you know, are you going to, it sounds weird, but are you going to work on your flight? So, you know, are you going to come up and try and do draws, fades, you know, a nine shot drill where you do low, medium, high fade, low, medium, and high straight, and low, medium, and high fade, uh, draw. It's quite a nice way to practice it, it you know makes you hit the shot at the end of the day, which is probably the most important part. Bit scabby. Nice. Feels nice. I'm going to change camera. I won't talk for a few. I'll just get a little bit closer. We'll do some angles and we'll uh, see what you can spot in the swing. See what you can spot. Okay guys, just gonna finish off with a few more two irons. I might hit a couple of drivers as well. But this felt like a great session. Really feeling as if I'm loading and then pushing back rather than getting the two ahead of it. So push yourself back.
just feels incredible. I feel as if when I go too left, when I get too left, I tend to get a bit steep. So these feel as if I'm literally back here. Feel versus real though. In reality, I'm really not. Okay guys, thanks very much for joining me there. It was lovely to have you along. Um, there's gonna be lots more videos coming in the coming weeks. We've got a La Manga trip. So we're gonna vlog basically the entire thing, coaching content, playing content, a bit of everything. But if you enjoyed the video, do the usual, hit the like, comment down below and subscribe. You'd be doing us a massive favor and uh, we would massively Appreciate it. See you all soon.